I am the presidential candidate of the Socialist Party. Now, as soon as you hear the word socialist, you may have the wrong notions of me. So let me briefly introduce myself. Like Hoover and Roosevelt, I am an American, from a long line of Americans born in Marion, Ohio, America's heartland. I am also a religious man. My grandfather was a Presbyterian minister, and so was my father, and so was I. In 1918, I joined the Socialist Party and resigned the pastorate to avoid embarrassing the church. I am also a Democrat, with a small d. You have heard from the two other candidates, and I hope you have recognized that they hardly disagree with each other. Each promises to take us out of this depression. Each blames someone else for the problem. Hoover blames Europe. Roosevelt blames Hoover. Both promise to spend less. Both promise to... But don't say how they will reduce unemployment. Freedom of speech on an empty stomach is not much of a freedom. From my perspective, the other two candidates are Tweedledum and Tweedledee, people who act in an identical way. So why the depression? I want to look beneath the surface of our crisis, and when we see the structural causes, we'll stop blaming other nations or men and start dealing with the real source of our ills. The fault lies in our economic system. Why do we have unemployment? Because the employers fired workers. Why did they do that? Because they couldn't find enough buyers for their goods. Any reason why couldn't they find buyers? Because of maldistribution of income. The real problem and the real misfortune is not simply unemployment, but unjustly distributed wealth. Why is it unjustly distributed? Because we let private people govern the economy. Individual men decide who shall work, how much they shall be paid, how many tons of clothing or food shall be produced. Private men consult their own private interest rather than the public interest. The results are this. Slum housing, gentlemen's clubs instead of people's parks, and unemployment. So what can I do different? One part of the solution is labor unions, which you may have noticed neither of my rivals mentioned. With the right to form unions, workers can protect themselves against their boss's decisions. But that is only a small remedy to the power of private owners. The basic remedy is to create a socialist democracy. I want to create a real democracy. Not just the every four year kind of democracy when someone puts a ballot into the ballot box. Instead, democracy that has to do with people's rights between elections, and not just abstract rights, like free speech or free press, I'm talking about day-to-day, -day, tangible rights, food, jobs, and housing. For that, we need planning, government planning of public resources. We already are doing that with police and fire protection, with water and with education. Now we need to extend government planning and ownership to key industries, banks, oil, coal, electricity, and steel. My concern is for the majority of America, the working men and women. Now why vote for me? All this may sound too drastic for you. It may sound unnecessary. We've gotten along with capitalism all these years, you say, so why change now? Well, most of us have gotten along, but with inadequate food for our children, bad health or amputated arms on the job, or no jobs at all in the depressions that hit every 20 or 30 years. Today, we are in the biggest depression of our history. Capitalism has broken down. It is not working. Three years and no improvement. The facts condemn the plans of Hoover and Roosevelt.